let's set the table for what we're going to see here. Uh, Martinsville, it's my favorite track of the year. It's short track racing. The struggle is with this car, passing seems to be a little bit of a challenge. So qualifying is going to be super important. Um, let's talk about the spring. What's the top three or four in the spring? Trav, you got the odds from the spring? Yeah, so in the spring, it was Byron plus 600, Larson 650, Bell 650, Hamlin 700, Truex 850. Okay. And who won the race, Professor? Larson. Yeah. So it was Larson, Logano, Truex, Hamlin, Briscoe. Well, then here you go, predictor model. How does it change this week? Uh, Larson, Hamlin, Byron, Bell. Your Does top. your predictor take into account, or should we take into account, that Larson and Bell are locked in? Um, it does not, but I think it should. In a positive or a negative way? Um, in a positive way. Like, they don't have to worry about anything other than winning the race. And there's a new Goodyear tire. I hear it's faster and has even less fall off. Weather's supposed to be warmer, so maybe that'll affect it. Uh, but this is a track. You know, we talk strategy. This is a track that you can two tire, no tire, stay out and get yourself track position. That is going to make Larson and Bell a little bit more dangerous, I think. Look at there's a big, a big difference between the predictor and the odds with Bell. Yeah, Bell's the sleeper. Plus twenty, you know, plus two. Which he won this race a year ago. Yeah. He needed to win. Uh, keep going in your second group because I had some interest here. This is like, can I just say this is Chase Elliott and a bunch of Fords? Correct. Chase Elliott, Logano, Blaney, Harvick, Busher, Keselowski. I'm a little surprised because I didn't think Penske's were that good at the short tracks, but you don't hate them? No, I think that I think that's this is where they are good. All right. Bubba, Chastain, Truex, Reddick, Amarola. I'm looking for something that interests me. You have Kyle Busch down to Tier 4. Kyle, yeah, Kyle Busch Tier 3, no more. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't see that. Where did he finish in Miami? He was 18th. Right in the middle of Tier 3? R ran 17th all day. Average running position is 17th. Um, 21st there in the spring. We say 21st in the spring. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So it's Bubba, Chastain, Truex, Reddick, Almirola, Gibbs, Briscoe, Tier 3, Bowman, Bush, Priest, Suarez, Tier 4. Let's talk Tier 4. Is there anyone Tier 3 you want to talk about? I mean, Truex Jr. 13th surprises me a little bit in a must win. You want to defend your predictor kicking your own favorite driver right in the shorts? Well, he stinks lately. Let's put it that way. Um, don't need a predictor was, for that one. <laughs> and, and like, well, let's look at the next gen finishes. He was 22nd, 20th and third. Okay. And that, uh, now the thing that, you know, helps him is that third, he had a speeding penalty too. So, so it was a monster third, big recovery. Yeah. All right. Well, th the reason I want to get to tier four is because it's Bowman, Bush, Priest and Suarez. Priest flew there in the spring until he had a speeding penalty and it was no, never seen again. Mm -hmm. So you just think that it's just too tough to do it. Well, it's just, you can't, I can't look at just one race for him. You know, it takes the total body of work. Total body of work. Wow. Is, that on a, is that on a note card somewhere? Mm -hmm. You watch the uh, NCAA uh, championship like for show. Yeah. predictor show <laughs> body of work body it's of a work. body of, it's a total body of work listen why they're in the tournament it's a body of work <laughs> uh, but, but what else do we need to go huh you know that's why truex has dropped so much like look at his last you know we look at the l recent performance he has struggled to say so the least. i mean it's awful right they didn't have a top 15 then they had a top 15 even with an issue and now this week, they had a slow pit stop, then got caught by a yellow, then broke a motor. I mean, I wouldn't ride in a rental car to dinner with these guys. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's... How do you blow an engine these days? I don't know. We just don't see it anymore. I know. Or broke it, break a steering car, whatever. The, it's whatever Denny's whatever steering. broke it, Denny's. It wasn't yeah. good. Experience the thrill of the racetrack like you're in the driver's seat with DraftKings Sportsbook. Bet on your favorite racers and feel the rush of every pass, pit stop, and victory like never before. 
Right now, new customers can turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. Bet five on anything to score big, no matter what goes down on the track. It's the final race of the round of eight, and the Cup Series heads to the short track of Martinsville. Tempers will flare, and the playoff drivers will do anything they can to secure a spot in the championship four. There is so much at stake, so be sure to check out our five bets to watch each week before placing your picks. With props, parlays, and more, there'll be action all race long. The racing action doesn't stop till the checkered flag drops. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and join with code DMD. New customers can bet $5 to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. That's code DMD. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Let's jump right into the odds then. Do we have to go farther down here? Is, Travis, are you happy that you, you don't care about anybody below this, right? You're not throwing any Hail Marys on Hosevar or should we cover Stenhouse just so Chop knows? No. He knows. I wouldn't bet him. So let's get right into these odds because I can't. I, I just keep staring at him. Chop, have they lost their mind? Yeah. Hamlin plus 275, next step 700. Now, I'm not saying Hamlin shouldn't be the favorite. But but that is just a – that's a gigantic – they just don't want any action. Is that what the books they, are saying? They won't get any. Who would bet that? Not me. I mean, it's – it's uh, – I mean, 275 to win the race. That's, well, hold on a second. Let's go over here to the matchups. Or let's go over to the groups. He's not in any group, right? No. How about a matchups? He's, no, he's not in any matchups. They want no Hamlin action. Hamlin is nowhere on the board. Uh, no, you can't get him in a uh, matchup. You can get him minus 185 versus Blaney. So, I mean, are they that scared of Hamlin? What, or are they just that scared of the of the handle? You think they're just that scared of the action? Man. I... My question is, like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, Chase Elliott with his, like, popular fan base. But Maybe dude... your pod's doing it, Trav. Maybe Acton's detrimental is pushing him to the lead of this popularity. Good thing Jared's not up here. He'd be plus 200. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so he has five wins there, right? Yeah, how many in the next gen car? But his last win there was the spring of 2015. That's the struggle is, is now look, he's got the swagger and the confidence, and I hear you, but I just, I was expecting a minus, a plus 500. Yeah, that, that doesn't make any sense. All right, sense. so you, we can't, you can't do it. Nope. I'm not saying Hamlin is or isn't going to win. I'm just telling you the odds, they don't want the action. So moving on, who's the best value on the board? Larson, Byron, you have top of the predictor. What Chop was saying earlier, Christopher Bell, you have a top four driver. He's 12th at 20 to 1. Yep. I think Larson at 700. <laughs> I mean, Bell at 2,000. Delaney at 1,200. What about Logano? Well, how about this? I, I got one more one. Do we think it's going to be a playoff driver? Yeah. Who was the highest non-playoff driver this week? It was my guy, A.J. Allmendinger, fifth. Oh, yeah, you had that one hammered. You said top ten. It was a top ten bet, and he finished fifth. Well done. Yep. <clears throat> so, okay, so hold on. Now let's talk this week in Martinsville. Can you bring up the last ten fall winners and if they were in the playoffs or not? Here's why I bring this up. My last one with Dale Jr., fall race at Martinsville, we were not. We were out of the playoffs at that point. Um, and and I, I bring that because we're not alone. There's, there's quite a few non-playoff winners at the fall race at Martinsville. Is that fair? Or is that only early in the playoffs? Help, my, help, help get the cobwebs out of my memory. Artemis is in here a little bit, and it's kind of <laughs> get the cobwebs out. Okay, so your last last year Bell walk off win. So seven of the last eight were in the playoffs. We're in the championship eight. Yes. Well, there you go. So the streak continues. So it, so so to your point, chopping not about everyone. So if you let's just say championship eight drivers for a minute. Hamlin, we've talked about. Larson, seven hundred. Byron, who has won here, plus 750. Uh, Truex, 900. Blaney, 1,200. Reddick, yeah. He's in as long as something stupid doesn't happen. So do you have to be careful betting him? No, he's going to race. He's going to – I think he's going to – 
be locked in on well, locked in as a stretch. He's going to feel really good about the points after stage two as long as he runs well. I'm not that good. To answer your question, Trav, I'm not worried about Byron. I think he's not going to do anything silly because of his points position. Reddick, 1,500, Bell, 2,000. Like, I think it's shocking that Reddick is shorter odds than Bell. Yep. It looks to me like a Larson, Byron, Blaney, Bell. I, I love what you just listed. Larson, Byron, Blaney, Bell, I think, is an absolute great start to win this race. Yeah. Would you disagree, Professor? No, I love that. I agree. And now, and only, once again, we're only taking Hamlin off the list because he's plus 275. If Hamlin was plus 500, he absolutely would be on the right. list. You'd put a unit on him to cover your other four-unit loss, and it'd be yeah. a five. You it's know like Larson I mean? last week, right? He's That's plus correct. 250, That's and, you know, so you while we thought he was going to win. You, right, you, right, you, right, you know, right. Only, just, only because he, like, plus 275. Yeah, that's yeah, that's no good. 